Melissa, uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your focus within RNA? Yes, I'm uh, Melissa Moore and I'm the uh, Chief Scientific Officer for Moderna um, and I run Scientific Affairs which uh, is involved in communicating our science to the public and also industry uh, folks and, and other stakeholders. Um, I came to Moderna after a long academic career. I was in uh, a professor for 23 years, uh, first at Brandeis University and then at the University of Massachusetts Medical School where I'm an expert on uh, RNA and working with uh, messenger RNA and the, the means by which messenger RNA is made and then utilized to make proteins. Fantastic. And um, which emerging technologies most excite you currently within the RNA field? Well, of course, as the CSO of Moderna, I'm very <laughs> excited about messenger RNA. But the, the thing that's really exciting about RNA is that it really has been an underexplored space compared to the protein space. And so there are so many exciting things here at the meeting. Um, we've got talks on long non-coding RNAs. Uh, there are other talks, of course, on small RNAs. I think uh, another area are um, other non-coding RNAs like tRNAs and uh, RNA editing. So there's just so many uh, different possibilities. It's, it'll be really fascinating over the next several years to see which of those um, technologies and which of those areas really are able, we're able to utilize to make therapeutics. And so what did you decide to be a part of uh, the launch of RNA Leaders here at Basel? I decided to be a part of RNA Leaders here at Basel because I was invited to give the keynote lecture. Uh, and when I saw some of the other speakers that had been invited, I felt that this would be a really great place to connect with uh, and network with my peers. So that's why I'm here. Fantastic. And you mentioned a few of those um, sort of talks that are going on throughout the events uh, over the next couple of days. But um, which areas of the uh, RNA Leaders agenda, aside from uh, your fantastic keynote talk this morning, uh, most interest you and, and why? I'm very interested in new delivery technologies for RNAs because that really is the, um, the, the challenge that uh, we have in terms of getting into other tissues. And so uh, it's all about delivery, delivery, delivery. And my next question was, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing the RNA field currently? I mean, maybe outside of the science, are there any um, other sort of challenges you uh, see the, the field facing? Well, I think one of the challenges that the field faces, in addition to how best to deliver our, our um, molecules to where we want them to go, is in educating the public about this exciting technology and educating uh, them about the fact that RNA is already in their body. It's not something foreign to them. And, if, and we've, now that we've learned to speak the language of the human body, we can use that knowledge to create new, what I call language-based medicines, based uh, on, on uh, instructing the human body to do what we need it to do. Fantastic. And how have you found being back at an in-person event after uh, a long time without over the last couple uh, of years? It is, it is so nice to be back at an in-person event and see uh, to look out at the audience and not see any masks and just see all of my colleagues that I haven't seen, seen in person in three dimensions for a couple of years now. And so I'm uh, just so happy to be here. And, and a large part of that is down to Moderna and, uh, and the other vaccines that, that came about. But what can we expect to be hearing from, from Moderna in the next few, few months and years? So Moderna has uh, lots of exciting things going on. There are many, many vaccines that we're working on. Um, and also uh, therapeutics for rare diseases, for immuno-oncology. We've got many things in clinical trials. Uh, I fully expect that there will be uh, lots of clinical trial data coming out uh, shortly. So. Uh, at the, this meeting next year. Uh, uh, I think that one of the things that would be really exciting is to see more and more clinical data from uh, being presented.